Oh, it's just a very quick video on how to null your leads on a QTEC KT63DL uh, multi-tester. This will be the same procedure, or near enough the same procedure for all the QTEC range, um, and probably similar procedures on other uh, devices from other manufacturers as well. But this is uh, going to be specific for this. It's one of those things that people either forget to do or they don't know how to do when they're doing testing. This video is about why you should do it and how you do it. So we've got two leads in the top. Doesn't matter which ones you use. I'm using brown and blue. You could, I could use brown and green, but it doesn't matter for, for the continuity because you're only using two leads. So they're connected at that end. And at the other end, we've got the two crocodile clips there. And they're all hooked in. So to do the nully, turn it to continuity. Now, as you can see at the top, I've already got the null in there. I could use these straight on the cable and it would work. But for this test, what we're going to do is I'm going to clear that. So to clear it, the crocodile clips are disconnected. Press the null button. You'll get that. And I do this. I, I don't think you have to, but I do it anyway, just to make sure. That now has given me it completely cleared for the nulling. So we can now null these leads. Now you see that's how I've connected up the crocodile. Look how I've um, connected them. So I'm going to press the null button. Gives me a reading of 0.42. I know that if I get a reading somewhere between four and five, then I've nulled these leads correctly. That's how I know. It would be probably different for any other um, test equipment, but that's how I know. So that, that's now been nulled. So I'll disconnect those off there. There you go. So as you can see, I've got the crocodile clip clipped onto the CPC and the line. So now we're going to take a reading. And, oops, that cable was in the way. 0.45. Now, how do I know that that's actually right? Well, I know that that cable there is a coil of about 25 meters of cable. Brand, uh, brand new bolt today. So, how do I know that that's right? Well, in the on-site guide, table I1, it will give you the resistance um, values that you can use to work out if that value is actually right for the cable length that you're going to be using. So, Put it up on the screen. As you can see, I need to divide that value by 0 0.01951. And if I do that, you will see on the screen the value that that comes to, which is nearly, near enough, 25 meters, which is exactly right. So that 0.45 is exactly the reading I should be getting from those cables. That just proves that what I've done actually gives me the right reading. What would happen if I tried to do that without nulling those cables? Let's have a look. Okay, as you can see, the cables are still connected. But now, as you can see, there's no null in the screen. So if I now press the test button, that's the reading I get, which is totally wrong. So that's why you have to make sure that you null your leads. Dead easy to do, but it's an easy mistake to make. And one I've made on a few occasions, I must admit, and realise I've had to redo my tests because I didn't null my leads. But at least with this tester, it will tell you whether you've nulled them or not because you will get the null at the top of the screen. If it's not there, you've not nulled your leads. So just check before you do test that that null is written at the top. Okay, there you go.